I've been trying to detach myself from the outside world even more. Very bad for you. Jetzt müssen wir noch warten, bis der <laughs> I am showered. Ardo is still sleeping, which is great. When the morning starts like this, the day is always gonna be good. <laughs> what means they start like this? It really took a long time for us to set a morning routine that works for all of us, especially early in the morning when there's like Ardo who has to be taken care of and Fanta who has to be taken care of, get dressed and get to daycare and I feel like we found a good balance. Mornings were always hard because also we are not that type of morning person. Like I would be, but 
I feel like every family needs to find a way how to be able to live together in a good way so everyone needs to make some type of sacrifices for example in the case from me and my husband it's that my husband he really is like a night owl <laughs> and not a morning person at all and I have the feeling I can be both I really like staying up at night for a long time because I feel like I get more creative like my creativity sparks I can get into flow while I'm working this maybe comes from my dance times when I really worked out and practiced dance until like really we had some type of midnight sessions and stuff like this that's probably a reason why I'm also this type of person but I'm also a type of person who likes to wake up in the morning but I need then to find a trade-off either morning and sleeping early or night and sleeping in but also for me the thing is like once I'm awake I cannot get to sleep again. What I want to say with this is that we had to find a morning routine in order for me not to be super stressed in the morning and have to do everything alone because he's still sleeping but in order just to be able to work together. Thankfully at the sleep schedule is good because he wakes up usually at seven i researched a lot and i made sure that he can make good naps and so the longest nap is in the morning so now he's sleeping and if he's able to sleep those two hours that he's supposed to and that he does many times i'm able to get everything done in the house but first i'm going to get some breakfast i usually don't eat breakfast but I, yesterday i made this whatever you want to call it. It didn't turn out great. It doesn't look great, but at least it tastes good. Like most of my husband, he took one with him and he liked it. Also yesterday he tried it, but I think I know what I did wrong. The thing that I did wrong is that I didn't need the dough for long enough. So I'm going to try today again. So let's see. Okay, so this has to be eaten with butter. I'm done with my breakfast and what I've learned from some of the books that I'm listening I listen to a lot of non-fiction books because I really like that I I feel like I always learn something new and I've learned that multitasking is very bad for you I'm going now to take one hour to clean the house but I'm gonna do only that so I'm not gonna get distracted. The only thing that I have to do as well is to film now. And let's see how much I will be able to do. Also, I don't have more time because by then Ardo will probably be awake again. So I filmed a whole section without pressing play. Anyway, now I need to think about what I was saying. I checked the time. Ardo woke up. He woke up like 10 minutes ago. He was rather angry. Then I had to change all his clothes and 
then I was talking, I think, ah, I was talking about multitasking and about how I used to multitask a lot and that I realized that ever since I started to focus more always on one thing that I feel like I get things done much more effective, much faster, I feel like, because I, I really thought I need to do everything at once, but it's actually good not to do that. That's one reason why I also started to, to work at night, because I feel like there I can just focus, because everything is done that needs to be done, everyone is taken care of, and uh, then I can just focus and do like shorter time. Instead of doing it in the morning when I need to, where I maybe start working, then I need to take care of Abdul, then I start again, then I need to do the laundry, then I start again, then it's suddenly that I need to take care of, and so on. So I feel like that was, that's a great way to get things done more effective and I'm trying to apply that method also for cleaning and putting things in order and I feel like it's working. So fun fact about this jumper or no how do you call it this jacket is that actually Santa was wearing it and we got it like gifted from a friend and it was actually much bigger yeah I put it into the washer and the dryer and I already knew I shouldn't do it but I was like that's where it's good but yeah it turned out much smaller <laughs> but the good thing about it is that because of that, Ardo, it fits exactly his size. And Fanta, she was much bigger in winter. It fitted her perfectly and now it fits Ardo perfectly. Because as a, next year, it would have been too small anyway. So I wouldn't, would have been able to wear it only on Fanta. But now I was able to wear it on Ardo and Fanta as well. So yeah, I would say this was a clever decision. <laughs> So awake again. How huh, did you take a good nap? Yeah. Now that the um, weather is getting better, I start to started to focus more on walks again. I mean, I have a lot of movement throughout the day anyway, because I don't know if you might have seen, but me walking up and down the stairs 
in one day is like crazy <laughs> and i think that was one of the reasons why i was able to lose weight even though i wasn't like really doing any cardio workout like only pilates and some heat but yeah anyway now it feels so good to ah, i need to stop my apple watch i burned 300 calories that's actually not a lot right the main reason why i decided to start focusing on walks again is because i started to get some type of uh, anxiety uh, i don't want to call it exactly anxiety because i didn't go to any doctor who can like confirm it but i have the feeling that i get a little bit stressed i've always been a person who likes to be at home by herself and i like to do activities that i like doing alone and i'm not it's not that i'm not a social person person i really enjoy being with other people but i feel like ever since giving birth to ardo i've been trying to detach myself from the outside world even more i never felt that i was missing something or that I didn't like or that I feel like I was missing out on something or that I feel like not socializing enough and stuff like this. I didn't feel at all like I feel actually perfectly at ease. But the thing is that what I realized is that when I started going out and meeting people or going on events or, or work, I work as a model every now and then, I realized that I started getting... Um, stressed some type of inner stress like it's not that i feel bad during the events or during the work actually i'm pretty fine socializing with people and talking and i don't feel like shy or anything like this but after that i feel like you know like and then i feel like i have a stress inside me the funny thing is that when I go out with my kids or with my husband, I totally don't have this thing. So I think I'm starting to get some type of social anxiety, but I will not like don't take any of those terms seriously because I have no idea what it ex exactly is. And it's also not my <laughs> profession to be able to examine that but it's the only word that i can maybe explain it it's strange because especially postpartum women are usually feeling the opposite feel some mental health issues from being too much at home by themselves only focusing on their uh, kids and family and i have the feeling for me it's exactly the opposite but I'm not saying that it's a good thing so I'm really trying to work on that but I realized that yesterday when I go out for work of course at home there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done so yesterday I took the whole day to clean the house you know put things in order and then also start baking I, I did the bagels while putting things in order or while kneading the dough and doing these things like really routine things I started to feel totally at ease again and I feel like this is my kind of therapy from you know the stress that I get from the outside world but the funny thing is that I'm not that much outside like I could say it's like once a week so that's why I really need to try to work on that because you know other people they go out work every day the thing is that I really don't want to be always in my comfort zone because I feel like I cannot grow from that so that's why I really need to work on that more and so I hope that my friends who are watching the video are not like feeling like oh my god so when she's meeting me then she feels anxiety and stuff like this but it's not that actually it's a good thing that I need to do even more often I need to more often go out and especially things like events socializing with new people and stuff like this i need to do more in order to get out of my comfort zone and to grow on that i'm, I'm trying to take that approach and i i hope that um by the time it will get better i was just feeling um it should be something that i should talk about because it's a thing that i've been struggling lately and i don't want to share any bad vibes and actually it's not that serious because i do have 
my safe space. I just wanted to share and show you guys uh, what's been going on. If you have some tips or if you maybe experience something similar, let me know in the comment below. It's always appreciated to hear your views as well. days ago and they turned out pretty well so I was like yes Good. and I tried something new put inside like only for us chili pepper the green one the Korean one gochu and chungyang gochu it's called and garlic and uh, yes the last one I added some mjolchi I did this mjolchi pokum side dish <clears throat> yesterday when I was in my therapeutic cooking phase <laughs> and i really liked it so i made the last one because there wasn't enough tuna and uh, yeah i hope she will eat them today Ardom took a small nap now he woke up and i just felt the urge to show you guys <laughs> but i mean everyone who's cooking at home knows how it looks how it is now i have to clean all these dishes So this is how I motivate myself in cleaning dishes. I choose a very nice song that I really like and then I just think about that. <laughs> to pick her up and then took a walk and then they also went to the hospital because Hanta has a runny nose again <laughs> so just to make sure that she gets a little bit like she's also coughing a little bit so just to make sure she gets uh, some medicine Yeah. Bravo! Ah, 
Was ist das? Kimba. Kimba. Uh, I feel like tomorrow I'm sick. Like, I feel like big game, eh? That's that's the day. But you say no bad But that, no. Before I was good. Uh -huh. And then I finish cook uh -huh. and make cook. order. Oh.